Hi, this is Ted Kelly with another Ted's Hospitality Minute. Hey, today we've got a great guest on. It's Jason Bain with Aileron Management. He's going to come on and talk a little bit about things that they do over there, all the great services that they offer, and then tell us a little bit about how those guys have been faring as we all have, right, as we've dealt through the COVID and the pandemic. Hey, Jason, how are you today? Ted, I'm doing well. Thanks for having me on. Awesome, man. Thanks for coming on. We always appreciate having a great guest and hear folks talk about what they're doing and how they're faring. So tell us a little bit about you. You know, how did you get in the hospitality industry? Yeah, um, well, I've been in the hospitality industry for about 12 years. Uh, that was, um, you know, ironically, I got in uh, in around 2008, which was uh, the last time we had one of these uh uh, tough times in the industry. So uh, my timing is not great from that perspective. But um, yeah, I spent 10 years with a larger hotel development and management company, uh, you know, started in the accounting finance side, um, and then worked over to business development. Uh, and then a couple of years ago, I uh, decided to uh, start my own uh, management company, uh, Aileron Management. So we are um, uh, we're based here in, in Greenville, South Carolina, and we uh, we manage uh, currently um, some Hilton product. And uh, you know, it is um, it's been an interesting year to say the least. I think we've been able to um, sort of um, think back to how things were uh, back in the 2009 timeframe, and uh, you know, I think we learned a lot of lessons then that we were able to to lean on and incorporate. Uh, this time around, although this one's a this one's a different animal, this one's a different beast, Ted. You can say that again, right? <laughs> wow. So, so tell us. Uh, so, you currently have which brands are you specifically manage? You manage all brands, or which ones are you most uh, intimate with? I should say. Yeah, currently we manage uh, Hampton Inns, and okay. we. Um, we're approved to manage uh, Hilton Marriott select service hotels. Um, you know, we, uh, we are actually looking to broaden that. Uh, we have, uh, we've been in talks recently uh, with some, uh, some boutique hotels and then, um, you know, even uh, sort of, you know, uh, what I would, would classify as, uh, you know, some of the winners in this economy, uh, you know, was we've looked back, um, you know, uh, 2020 has been uh, difficult for those hotels that are, you know, urban located that rely on a lot of corporate business. Our hotels are not urban, but they they do rely a lot on corporate, you know, midweek. And right. what we've what we've come to realize is that kitchens and coastal winds. So the extended stay hotels uh, are seem to be doing better. Uh, the uh, hotels along the coast seem to be. Uh, faring better and uh, you know so we've uh, we've been talking and, and underwriting you know some hotels that, that fall in those categories um, you know and hope to, to grow our portfolio and uh, sort of bent that direction but I think that's also a short-term um, thing I, we we think that um, you know middle of 2021 we'll start to see you know some uh, some rebound uh, you know in uh, some of the markets that we're in, uh, right. you know, hopefully with vaccines and all, we've, um, you know, things are gonna gonna turn around for us. Yeah. So you said um, so geographically. Where do you guys focus? Or are you guys kind of all over, or do you guys focus on a certain footprint? You know, we're all over, and I think that I got that from uh, the company I was with before. You know, we had hotels in Washington State uh, and you know, all the way down to Fort Lauderdale and up to New York and, you know, all over. So we kind of go everywhere. Um, you know, we're not geographically constrained. Um, currently we're in the Midwest uh, and we have some affiliation with um, some hotels here uh, in the, the Carolinas, but, uh, you know, we'll go anywhere. There's a, an opportunity to, to manage or, uh, you know, to own a hotel. So um, we, we like the fact that we're not constrained uh, that way. Right. Awesome. So, so how have you guys managed the pandemic? I guess what's, what's been the toughest thing for you guys to kind of get your arms around during this pandemic? Wow. That's a, 
that's a that's a big question. Uh, you know, I, it's one of those things. Um, you know, I think back to last year, and um, you know, we were looking for opportunities to grow, and we were secretly, you know, hoping you know something would sort of shake loose. There'd be some opportunities. Uh, we never would have wished this on anyone from a health perspective, from an economic perspective, um, but. Uh, you know, I've seen the best in people, uh, especially our people. Uh, you know, we've got experienced general managers, uh, our corporate team here. Um, we've got decades of experience. And, you know, it's interesting how when things got difficult, um, you know, it's like we kicked it into a different gear. Um, we were hypersensitive to our people and how we could, you um, really serve our people first and our that's our mission uh if you read our mission statement you know it says you know we want to empower and encourage our associates so we want that's the first thing we do is make sure our people um you know are encouraged and you know it's a discouraging time for a lot of people uh and then we empower them and you know i'm happy to say we haven't had to lay off anyone we did have some furloughs you know through the the, the darkest times but uh, you know, we've been we've been fortunate enough and we've really invested in our people. Um, and, you know, that that has paid off uh, even in a pandemic. You know, I think they've dug deep um, and we've been there to support them. Um, and, you know, I'm, I'm amazed at how they have been able to um, get creative with um, how we serve our guests, how we make sure our guests are protected, uh, how we communicate with our guests. Yeah. Uh, you know, even wearing a mask, you can communicate a smile with your eyes. I think that's, yeah. you know, there's a lot of hotel companies that are, are promoting that. And it's true. And yeah. what we've what we've found is, you know, um, you know, our people are our strength, even in a in a pandemic. So um, I would yeah. say first, that's our that's been our first focus, you know, well, I think that I think that's excellent. And I've, I've heard that. Um, several other guys that I've talked with, that's kind of always been the focus. Um, and I think that, you know, to your point, we were kind of maybe in a similar boat, you know, we were looking forward to 2020, looking forward to trying to expand our footprint in the project management, pit renovation, you know, major maintenance project management work. And, you know, I was just telling, uh, I might've been telling Brian, or oh, maybe the the guys over at, uh, I was just talking with before we got on was that, you know, I was in DC in Bethesda the last week of February, uh, first week of March, right before kind of the pandemic kind of kicked in and, you know, I haven't traveled since. And, you know, Bethesda is kind of like the hotel capital of the world. So you go there and you can meet with, you know, four, five, six, seven, you know, major hotel companies. And, you know, we were just there trying to obviously cultivate uh, relationships and and looking forward to trying to uh, possibly, you know, bid some work for some of these major players. And, and then the bottom just falls out, you know, and it's like, all of a sudden you go from having this enthusiasm and, you know, anticipation about the year. And then, you know, COVID hits and you're like the next nine months or so you're, you're stuck in neutral <laughs> or going backwards. Right. So I definitely can relate to, uh, to some of that and you know and some of our folks we've had to do the same thing for lows and things of that nature but you know it's kind of like uh the kind of par for the course right now but i guess the encouraging news is that we do have you know what looks like a vaccine that's coming online and hopefully before soon or, or before long we'll be able to get a sense for you know if that's successful how the rest of the world right can kind of start migrating back to some type of normalcy and you know, we can um, we can all kind of start thinking about, OK, so now if this is happening, you know, what do we think about next? You know, like I was saying in an earlier segment, do we think about doing that PIP renovation? Do we think about the major maintenance work? You know, what what's next if we could get past COVID and think about what life was like before COVID is kind of the way I look at it, you know, so. Yeah, you know, I think our industry, you know, hospitality, we we're, we're friendly, we're hopeful, uh, you know, we, we're optimists probably, uh, you know, I think we, like we should to, be sometimes. <laughs> um, 
<laughs> maybe so. Maybe, maybe a dose of realism. Um, yeah. You know, I, I was, uh, I said, I told someone earlier that, um, you know, I'm not a big fan of participation trophies, but uh, if you make it to the end of 2020, uh, I think everybody deserves a trophy. Uh, it's been a tough year, but and I think we're going to have a dark winter, quite honestly, from a from a hospitality perspective, um, just where the counts are. I think the mentality is, you know, hunker down. And um, but I think with the vaccine and, you know, uh, there's a pin up. People like to travel. People like to get out and they like to see, you know, other people. They like to see other parts of the country, other parts of the world. Uh, that hasn't changed. That won't change. Um, you know, I think a comfort level uh, to do that will come when we have a vaccine. And, you know, I think we're going to see a rebound. It's probably second half of next year uh, before we see it, you know, uh, strong in our markets. But um, we're banking on that. We're, we're expecting that. And, um, you know, we're hopeful. So I think that's, uh, that's our mantra headed into to 2021. Yeah, well, I, I think uh, I think that's definitely the right place to be, the right mindset. And I think that's what we've all had to rely on. Uh, and, you know, we always keep reminding each other where we're in this together. We'll get through it. And, you know, hopefully we return back to that people oriented service face to face. Right. That we like to see each other in the hospitality industry because it just feels so weird when you're you know, having to meet and greet and talk to folks so much through a computer and Zoom, and it's just, it's just not the normal thing to do. But, but anyway, you know, I really, really appreciate you coming on and talking a little bit about your company. And if folks want to find you, how do they do that? Yeah, well, um, thanks, Ted. Thanks for having me on. And uh, to reach us, we're at aileronmanagement.com. It's A-I-L-E-R-O-N management.com. Um, you can also find us on LinkedIn and Facebook and Twitter and, you know, all the, the social media. Uh, and then, you know, we, uh, our office here in Greenville, our number is 864-999-2300. We're, uh, we're here to, to serve you. And uh, you look, we're, we, we, we're opportunistic, even, you know, in a survival mode. You know, we, we would love to talk to, to, uh, to others about, you know, what projects they've got going on, what markets they're looking at, you know help them with underwriting and, uh, and management, just build relationships. Like you said, we're all in this together. And if we can help someone, uh, we'd love to do that. Awesome. All right. Well, thanks again. This is Ted with another Ted's Hospitality Minute. Hey, thanks so much, guys. You guys stay safe.